Hey everyone, I'm Michael. And I am Justin. Welcome to Prego Italia, living our Italian dream. We're American expats originally from California, now living full time in beautiful Scalia, Italy. And today, Michael, <laughs> oh, the weather, it is beautiful. It is perfection today. Look at the sea color behind us. It's so gorgeous. It looks like a, just a big old sapphire. <laughs> I like to pick a different color blue naming every day. When it's stormy, it's kind of gray. When it's some days, it's a beautiful turquoise. This is the type of time that he has on his hands. <laughs> well, I love all my, all, every shade of blue is beautiful and we get to see it on display with mother nature. So the sea makes me happy. <laughs> you make me happy. Aww. The villa makes me happy. Everything so, <laughs> makes us happy today. You make us happy. You make us so happy. Please subscribe. Yes, please hit like and subscribe. We so appreciate it. It really helps our channel grow. And, and it's free and come on, you guys know you like us and, enough to do it. And we thank you also for the comments. Your comments bring us so much joy. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy lives to drop us a line. We'd love to hear about you and all your Italian dreams and all of your input on the villa and our travels. It's always great to hear. Yes. So it's lots very helpful as well. Thank you. So come with us today as we show you around the villa and the process of renovating the mm -hmm. work that's being done and mm -hmm. let you know some of our ideas. Yeah, today I'll, I'll talk to you about some of the things on the to-do list uh, since the bathrooms are just finishing up and as Yay. soon as the bathrooms are done, we anticipate getting to come back to live here full time within the next few days after it's professionally cleaned and scrubbed and all the construction dust is removed and the dogs and we are going to be happy campers so yay so looking forward to that um we'll have our big bathroom reveal once uh, the second one escalated so quickly um he's actually putting it in the toilet as we speak on the second bathroom so we will just doll everything up and have a big reveal with both dolled up on a future video uh today i'll show you some progress ahead though and you can see the progress of bathroom two coming along wonderfully so yes awesome. we're very very happy with how they turned out they're amazing <laughs> yes and i think uh, we'll, we've been uh, to lunch a few times. I'll have a, a couple things filmed from Tari Restaurante in um, Centro Storico Scalea. Our friend Francesco and his fiance have had the wonderful pleasure of just purchasing it. It was yeah. originally open since the 50s. And they are the new owners. They did a gorgeous remodel. We'll show that to you. One of our very favorite restaurants in the area. So, And he is just so nice. Yeah, I think I have like two visits there. Cause, and I'll go ahead and pop those together and make a, a nice show for you here later to show where we eat. Because I know a lot of you like to see... Um, some of the delicious food in the area. <laughs> and um, we'll take you on our errands and have a lot of fun. So please uh, stay ahead and enjoy. Hey everyone, we know that we've got a lot of nice feedback that people like when we actually show through town. So we're on an errand here early in the morning, 8 a.m. And I thought I'd show you Corso Mediterraneo. This is the SS18 going south through Scalaya. This is a main commercial hub. Obviously it's early in the morning, but uh, pretty cool little area here. Lots of shops and banks. Exactly. Real estate agencies. For those of you who need to know, this Diamante Moda is where my jacket came from. <laughs> Michael's furry jacket. <laughs> and here we have some of the more famous hotels in the area down here. It's very busy on this street. High season, it's packed. A lot of nightlife. And then here we have the city, all the city buildings of the commune, and the police station. Everything you need if you're coming to town. further south set of uh, continued Lido's, the main group obviously we show you all the time, these are across from the hotels. They will be there in the summer. <laughs> the hotels have their Lido's, there's, a, there's Costa Sea furniture which we can vouch for, we do enjoy the folks over at Costa Sea, left, your furniture needs. The Perla restaurant is coming up down here too. Which is, we haven't been to yet. Cubs go. And here we will probably turn off right after, but just want to show you there's our Tokyo sushi where we put on for all you can yeah. eat sushi and Chinese food. Delicious. Yes, it's here. So good. We've done a video and we'll do one again. Love that place. And here I am at one of our local mom and pop. Um, shops here and this is where I'm coming to get some paint. We need some extra paint to finish off some of the touch up on the walls. So I thought I'd take you inside. And since 
since we just finished our errands and we're heading back in the north direction on SS18, I thought we'd film again since you folks enjoy, uh, some of you are driving through Scalia. And here we have up in the, way up on the mountain, you can see in the background, look at the snow cap. Isn't that pretty, Mike? Yes, it is. Today is already and warm. <laughs> while we're on the side, I wasn't able to show it earlier when he talked about it, but oh, yes. there, Right there at the base of that yellow building is Casa C, and we can vouch for their great customer service and wonderful <laughs> furniture there. And of course, other furniture needs in the area. And our friend Nancy at Del Borgante and Primari at our big store, Euro Convenienza. Euro Convenienza. Convenienza. It's her big furniture, three story store. And I love the buildings up on the hill there in the Petrosa part of Scalia. Yes. Beautiful. Those are above the Lido's. Once again, this direction we're passing the city buildings. And to the left is a, one of the very popular large hotels that's super packed in the summer. Michael could uh, get the name for you here. I don't want to chop it just off memory. The Santa Catarina. Santa Catarina Hotel. Many large hotels, and then we also have smaller accommodations. So it's no shortage of beautiful hotels in Scalia. And now we get Italian traffic jam. Point over to BNL Bank here to the left. This ATM has a high limit. You could get out 2,500 euros a day if needed. There is a higher service fee though. So if you are an American visiting and um, you need a higher ATM, that one can get you a 2,500 limit. Most banks are 250, so that's helpful. And then for those of you who are planning to move here who have animals, um, one of the best places is right Veterinary. down here in this alley. And it's Carmine. Um, Carmine is the name of the vet. That is where we took Gucci to get his um, shots and amazing prices. And he is so nice, speaks good English. So that's awesome. 20 euros a visit, including shots needed or medication, correct? Yep. That's wonderful. Compare that to the US and your head will spin. <laughs> And here we have to the right, you have uh, down to Centro Storico and to the Piazza Calabrese. And then to our left, once again, the beautiful Lido's here. And Michael and I love this gorgeous palazzo here. It's beautiful right here on the beachfront. Gorgeous. Yeah, once again, we showed this last time, but the house is up on the hill. It's just lovely. Today it's getting nice and sunny. It's going to be a beautiful day. Well, everybody, we have so many projects going on. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, finishing touches at the villa renovations here. And this area was previously built by the um, previous owners, but it looks like they didn't finish it. It was grass in this area. That's obviously a continuation of stairs. So we went ahead and had the cement poured in and we couldn't find the exact um, paver tiles that are here. So I got something the same size. But it's very similar um, tone, so it'll be sufficient. They'll pave there, and then we have these uh, little um, stair tread pavers. Um, they're not uh, mounted yet, but they'll be placing those and cutting those in place. I've planted um, two roses here in each of the planters and put in some pine mulch because haven't found bag mulch like in uh, the U.S., so I know, know that the pine needles will make a nice little mulch. So that'll come out nice, huh, Mike? <laughs> yes, it'll it's... be very nice. And the roses, when they bloom, are going to be yellow. Yes, that's going to be gorgeous. And as you can tell, um, we were very fortunate. The gardens of this home already came beautifully landscaped, manicured and planted. Uh, mature trees. We have two olive trees. The larger one back there, of course. On beautiful palms, which we love, and sagos. And need to get that big palm trim, but just the hedges, everything's beautiful. And this was already here. And look at the sapphire blue today. Absolutely stunning. We can see strawberry. I don't know if it'll pick up the shadow. But it probably won't pick up on camera, but we know where to find the, it to look. Some days it'll be more clear and we can show you. But beautiful sapphire sea today. It's just gorgeous with a nice turquoise undertone in the front here. Beautiful day. Spring definitely feels like it's coming. And um, I'll go ahead and show here. The debris pile is on its way out. Yay! I'll drop a picture yesterday of the dump truck that came to get all the refuti um, of all the cement and old tile because uh, they have to separate the loads. And then we have other loads coming for metal and such. And Mero is packing everything up and 
getting ready for the next dumpster so this can be gone. And you can see everything sorted into like items. And this area, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the to-do list ahead because we will be getting this area cement based for a driveway. It'll actually be going off. You can see where our worker's car is. So it will curve and follow a path there for two cars. And we are getting cement. And then after the cement cures, we're having stone, uh, like a, a beautiful stonework done. And that will be cemented in place too. So that should be very beautiful. When we're not using it as a driveway, we can have our like a summer uh, space to put chairs and have a beautiful, um, you know, additional space for uh, cocktail parties and stuff. I thought that we don't have enough patio, but it'll be a very beautiful like courtyard type pavement. Should be very pretty, aesthetically pleasing. And uh, the electric gate has to be painted and a new electrical system installed. I've already spoken to our electrician about that. It's very affordable. And then that'll be in place. Then we can park in here so Michael can have easier access as well as mom when she comes so they won't have to um, have difficulties at all getting into the house, as you can see. And then we'll have a garden area here, strip, and we will have a walk path connecting and we have to get everything power washed here. And we will be having a, I will put a picture of a sample, but a pergola built with open um, slatting at the top. So it will be open for the sh uh, shade structure yet um, open for you know breeze and such. And our goal is to find on each side of the post, it will be made of wood. So there'll be one post here, one post at this end, it'll be a very high pergola in front of the kitchen area so we can have our morning coffee out there. We're going to plant grapes. grapes. We're gonna do a white and a red. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we definitely always, uh, part of the living the Italian dream was to have a little, talk about a mini, mini vineyard, but a little piccolo vineyard of our two grape vines cascading so we can pick our fresh fruit in the season. Be beautiful. Yes. So that's ahead. That'll be one of the projects very soon. And this area back here, actually I went to the nursery and got an orange and a lemon. And I am sorry, but I just, he I love the little it orange. It is just, no, seriously, people, come on. <laughs> Look how small this tree is and it already has an orange. That is yes. just the cutest freaking thing. I got this lemon. There were some of the lemons had it. This one didn't have one on it, but it's blooming. But um, we're actually gonna do these in clay pots. Um, we're gonna do one flanking each side, right in this area here under the cactus. We're gonna have a small picket fence built of wood with a little gate. And it's probably three feet high. Yeah. And that will be, well, as high as that wall is, that will be so the dogs have a contained area um, when we are going in and out of the gate with the car, uh, the electric gate, we don't want the dogs, you know, popping out and everything. So we thought when we run errands, pop them back here safely. And also if we have little cocktail parties and stuff, we could put them in an area so they won't be jumping all over everyone. And I think you can tell we want summer cocktail parties. That's going to be a thing with our friends. So, and I would love to have everybody over. So got to get all this area washed up and the pavement of debris. They're still um, scaffolding up from when they're working on the roof. Oh, that's another thing. We're having it re the re-roofing done. Yes, um, we're past be. rainy season, but um, it's time. And he's offered us the availability while we're doing it to get the, um, right. it's like the rubberized type of roof right, on right. the flat areas. We have pitch roof with tile in areas above our bedroom and the kitchen, but on the flat area. By the way, up there, the view is stunning. A lot of people in the area have roof terraces, but we're gonna forego doing one. We have a beautiful view without it. And uh, Michael wouldn't wanna have to go up spiral stairs and I know my mom wouldn't either. Especially so. after a cocktail party. <laughs> yeah, they usually attach spiral stairs um, and go up to roof terraces and such. And um, I don't think we need it, but if we ever do, that's an option. But I think we can pass on that because I think our view is stunning just on the regular um, you know, ground level here. And I will honestly say one of the things I love, I'm especially loving this time of year, um, as we're walking by, I'll let Justin show you, but I love it because it's still winter, but it's just, you know, at that transitional stage and all the blooms, all the buds are starting to come in on oh, dormant definitely. plants. Oh yes, I've got, for instance, um, I have my bougainvillea here um, that I had from the other home we had brought over. And exactly what I know what you mean, the little buds are coming in. And I will flank both sides of the, this goes into the living room, dining room area. Uh, we have touch up paint to do still, of course, on some of the um, trim work and such. And I have to do the little shutter dogs 
here in black. I'll go ahead and do that myself, of course, give a nice coat of black. Um, so everything's coming out great. And like I told everybody, Mike, we'll get a nice power wash here and um, pull the weeds popping through on the pavement and it'll get all dolled up and can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. And uh, they did do some repairs. They inserted some new tiles on um, the overhang here. So that was already done as well. So everything's coming snazzy. And these uh, teak deck chairs, we did inherit um, eight here. So I think we're gonna get a little teak table for under the um, pergola area over there. A little round teak table would be cute when we put four chairs up and then I could store the other ones in the shed for whenever we have folks over and need uh, more chairs. We are intending to get a resin type wicker type uh, set here for my friend Nancy's store of a little seti sofa with uh, um, multiple uh, lounging chairs and a coffee table and then um, under there, out of mom's bedroom, we're going to have another little coffee table and couch. Right. So we'll get two full sets of those. So plenty of lounging, um, beautiful chairs. We'll be out here soon. We'll order those up after everything's done so they don't get in the way of the continuing construction. But lots of garden parties ahead. That's our goal here. We just love this view. We love to entertain and um, outdoors. So we're going to live outdoors and entertain outdoors. So all of our friends are welcome to drop by and have fun. We're just enjoying ourselves. Yes, we feel very, very blessed, honestly, Justin and I. Um, mainly, you know, the house the house is gorgeous and we don't take it for granted. But I think for me, at least, the best part of this house is the outside. Oh, it's, it's my childhood. I think I've <laughs> explained to everyone since I was a child. Uh, just, I always dreamed of a, a sea view like this, especially a Mediterranean view was always my goal later as a, um, you know, a preteen and such. I used to enjoy like Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous with a um, <laughs> show in the, in the 80s. And I, I just loved just beautiful, beautiful Mediterranean views. When... And here we go. We're living our Italian dream. I'm a happy camper. My mom is too. I know she's looking forward to this. And Michael, you're just it's so meditative and just relaxing. Right, yes. And this, it's- when I, when I do my meditations with my mom, I actually sit right here and you know, hear the ocean or See, the sea. I know we the sea. Okay, you know what? It's water. I hear it. <laughs> the big blue thing. Yeah, the big blue swimming pool. The out big, there. that big blue thing. Um, but we're it's it's. But so it peaceful. is very serene, very tranquil here. Yes, and um, oh, I'll talk about the wrought iron fences. I actually go down and show a close up. I'll stop and show that. But um, I will be probably doing um, beautiful days myself with the brush. I painted the front pedestrian gate and it was fun. So I think I'll go ahead and do that myself. Even if it takes me a while, it's just, <laughs> I, I like to do things and I think that'll be nice on nice days to come out and just do a little bit here, a little bit there, piano, right. piano with the brush. And um, it's gonna be fun. So like I said, I'll show you inside in a bit, but everything's coming along. We got lots of to do's ahead. Uh, the side building, we are responsible for this side of the building because uh, it forms a wall to our yard. So we will actually be having them paint that all out white. So it's pretty. Uh, the previous owners just left it that that uh, forever raw cement color, which doesn't cut it for us. Mm -hmm. So when they paint the walls, we'll have that painted out as a wall white as well and everything. And the wall painting will be done later, of course, too. So lots of fun things ahead. And following along the front of our home at street level here, um, well, community street, it's a private street. Uh, we have our beautiful hedges and stone wall. Love it. So here is the pedestrian gate. Um, this is still our property here to the left, quite a large parcel and the house next door. Here is the pedestrian gate. I actually painted that our delicious espresso brown uh, metal paint. Very pleased with how that came out. Um, all the parts that you see peeking through that are white. I'll go ahead with my brush and get those on a nice day a little bit here, a little bit there. And I think I can tackle that myself. It will be enjoyable to have that touch. And I often don't show this part of the view. So let me go ahead and show the front entry. So from our pedestrian gate here, this is a nice little area. One could put a bench here. I don't think we need one, but there's a little terraced area up here. I'll do more gardening. This terrace has that very lovely mature olive tree. So that's its own little terrace with lawn. And we have this other little area. So it's really cute. And then we have the um, charming little paved uh, terracotta stairs that go up to the front. And Michael, as you know, with his disability, we get the lucky access of the driveway gate. So he won't have to contend with any steps, which is nice. And there's a the lower terrace lawn. And there's, you can see that circular view area. So this is an angle I haven't shown before. So glad I get to show that to you now. So very lovely gardens. Very blessed to inherit such a beautiful garden. 
already ready to go and just add some flowers here and there and we'll be good to go. And there's a little um, terrace with that palm tree, which has a lawn area. That's where the dogs, when they're here, like to sleep. So it's cute and shady. fixtures. Over there is the shower area and due to Michael's disability in case he uses it we will be using a shower rod and a curtain at this location instead of a glass enclosure because that becomes rather dangerous in case Michael falls. Okay. Very pleased. Didn't this come out great? They sure did fast work on the bathroom, I tell you. Still have to put the medicine chest in, then we'll have a shower curtain. This is the towel rack. Nice place for the washing machine in place. Our electrician is coming tomorrow. Dragos will be here, the electrician, to finish off all the electrical work. Amazing. <laughs> So they just grout it, so the floor ground has to dry. I am so impressed. Rather quick work for this bathroom. I'll have the update video with both bathrooms once they're officially dolled up. Michael and I love Tari Restaurante. It's located in Centro Storico of beautiful Scalea, and it is in uh, Piazza de Palma here, which is right here by the famous stairs. That's a landmark of the area. And in this beautiful piazza, you will find in June, all through high season, we have outdoor um, piazza dining here. And they close the piazza, have dining, and the other little cafe over here opens and both share the piazza with beautiful romantic evening lights. You can see the twinkle lights up above. It's gorgeous. You must come at night in the summer. It's a, a must do. Tari is delicious. We enjoy our lunch here. Francesco is always a pleasure to see. He runs the place. Uh, they are under new ownership and they have recently remodeled. We'll show you inside and our delicious meal. Here we are in Tari with their beautiful new remodel. Absolutely gorgeous bar. <laughs> Francesco, hard at work. Beautiful new paint color. Hey, Michael. Hey. Absolutely gorgeous remodel. Yes. Love the peacock blue. Beautiful courtyard view. Gorgeous historic structure. We are enjoying lunch with our lovely friend Karina. We just adore time with her. We usually meet up for coffees and sometimes lunch. And Karina today, tell everybody hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> She's a blast. And we are enjoying the appetizer. Uh, Tari, they give you a complimentary onion strips fried. It's delicious. Delicious. What's your favorite food here? My favorite food is ravioli filled with the chernia and they will be reduced in, with a charming sausage made of uh, pepperoni kruschki. Ooh, so delicious. will be red, pep red peppers. So if you like the food, you have to come here for lunch or for dinner because the food is great at Tari. Yeah, it is, and it's great company spending time with you, Karina. We for me too. I love you guys. Love, love you, you, Karina. 
for our food. Actually, I think I got an off menu item. I asked for a veal scallopini with limon. It used to be on the old menu. They've had, thank you. They have a, a new menu and they still were able to prepare that for me. And I get that with a side of French fries. Michael got one of our favorite dishes Well, here. it's something that I tried the last time yes. I was here. I loved it. It is lingale a la calafrese. It has sausage, porticini mushrooms. Porticini mushrooms. And uh, parmesan. Delicious. It is absolutely this amazing. This is a new recipe and it's we've fallen <laughs> in love with it. I almost got it today, but I just had heavy pasta yesterday. And I think I've explained I love veal. And mm, yum, yum, yum. And the bread here is fabulous. Everything is delicious. <laughs> Here at Tari, Michael and I are very fortunate and spoiled because lovely Francesco, who runs the place, has created a special coffee just for us. It started out, I guess, once we were talking about America. No, no, no. What it had started out as um, was it was after my birthday and we had got a panettone here. Yes, and then we were talking about Starbucks and showing them pictures how in America they put all this whipped cream and toppings. And so he made a creation for us yes. with our Cafe Americano. He has topped it with whipped cream and we put the raw cane sugar. The, um, it's absolutely delicious and decadent and it's a special treat. We feel very spoiled to have here at Tari. So if you do come to Tari, I'm sure he'll giggle, but you could ask for Cafe Francesco because that's what we have named it. And he knows it and he should get a good giggle if people start ordering it. It's delicious. Hey everybody, thank you for coming along on today's little ketchup adventure. So we had a lot of fun Next showing time we'll you. we'll have a mustard adventure. <laughs> yep, so I will <laughs> promise to show you the completed bathrooms since both are technically pretty much done. I will show you those when they're all dolled up and we are still awaiting our new interior doors. So those will be coming in the future. Um, anyway, everything's really coming along great. Uh, it we'd is like looking. To Perfect. Yep, enough. I think uh, probably no more than two days and we'll be able to move back. Yeah, yeah. So basically, um, our workers have said that um, after tomorrow. tomorrow, we're able to get the cleaners in and have them do the yep. cleaning. And then once that's done, we can be back in here. And then all our videos so, yeah. will be coming from here with daily life, putting it all together and yes. the final touches and everything as long as it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> as long as that takes and then we get to live, <laughs> literally live our Italian dream here and do our travels throughout Italy. So yay. yay. Thank you for for coming along on the renovation process. We still have and more to also, come. And also thank you guys for all of your um, suggestions mm -hmm. with the renovations and yep. all of your um, comments. And we help with color them. choices. Help with color choices. The shed everything. debate color so. and our, our um, color of espresso on the yes. metal work. So lots of cool things you've had input with, which we appreciate. Yay, and you. as I mentioned before, we have the pergola head and driveway, all sorts of goodies to show you. Um, but um, decorating the interior. Mm -hmm. I love interior design and Michael enjoys it too. So yes. that's going to be fun putting that together so wonderful and before we go we just want to say once again thank you to everybody who has clicked that like and mm -hmm. subscribe much button. appreciated it is very appreciated we love you all bocce bocce please subscribe dare to dream Mwah. ciao Mwah. thank you hey everyone so we have exciting news we are now on patreon and you can find the link to that right here below there will be the info for you to find us patreon we actually, in advance, want to thank you very much for your patronage. Thank um, you. Your support will enable us to grow this channel to where we hope it gets to be and also enable us to travel throughout Italy and share many more experiences with you. So thank you in advance. Bachi bachi. Bachi.